What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Jace bringing you a brand new video. And before we dive into this one, y'all gotta drop a like on it for me. Drop a like on it for me. Drop a sub for me. So in today's video, we're talking about why CapCut on the PC and even the mobile app is the best editing software for you guys to use this year. And hopefully by the end of this video, I have convinced many of you guys out there to start editing with CapCut. First off, CapCut is completely free, but I recommend that all of you guys get the pro version because it has so many features, guys. I've literally use this software on my desktop PC to make thousands and thousands of dollars. And all of you guys watching this definitely can too. For those of you guys that don't know, I'm a former full-time streamer turned UGC creator, and that's what I'm doing full-time at this moment. And if you're interested in becoming a UGC creator or making more money on the side, in the last video that I made, I talked about how you can make money with TikTok's new UGC program, the TikTok Creative Challenge. So if you missed that, definitely go check that out right now. It's going to be in the description below. As you can see, I've done a few UGC videos. I've actually deleted a ton too because this program gets a little bit laggy when you start filling it up with past projects. So let's go into a brand new project and just kind of talk about how I use it and how it's good for the pro version. First off, there's templates, memes, different things, different cool things that you guys could use for TikTok videos. Player one versus player two. My God. Yeah, so there's tons of different templates for you guys to use for editing your own videos. The filters tab is amazing. There is a free version and there's a bunch of free filters available. So if you're not interested in the pro, that's totally fine. You're still going to get good value out of CapCut on PC. But man, the pro version has all the cool ones. Look at all these transitions, guys. There's only a select few that I always use. I definitely recommend going in and, and picking out the ones that you guys like to use the most and just rolling with that for your videos. But definitely a lot of options for people out there. This is where it gets pretty fun, guys. This is the video effects tab. All right, so here's some old footage. Let's go into the trending tab in the video effects section and just take a peek. You know, different things that you guys could do to your video. Oh my God. Want to blind yourself? Use the strobe effect. Let's not do that. Want some lightning on your video? My God. You can get some lightning. Let's do the color flicker. Holy shit. The amount of assets that you get in CapCut is insane to me. And um, literally this program gives you everything that you guys need to become successful in social media uh, or whatever job that you're doing. Here's the stickers section, um, little icons. Let's click on the stickers tab here. Emojis, icons for you guys to use in videos. You know, you, you want to stand out from the next person. And with the way that AI is kind of like coming into the space right now, super crazy like, you know, CapCut's going to give you the ability to add some different things to your videos. So I don't really touch the stickers tab too much. Um, sometimes I use the icons and, you know, the trending section just to see what's popping. Some of these stickers are actually animated as well, which is super cool. And then we've got the text section, which in my opinion is one of the most important sections in CapCut. Hit that auto caption button and let's click it, baby. So this was an ad that I did. We're just going to grab this. We're going to highlight all this text. It's going to highlight all everything that it hears. It's going to auto caption for you, which is super nice. Grab a different font like that. Make it bold. Put a little back on it. A little shadow on it. And then the coolest part of your text is you're going to be able to put animations on it. I absolutely, this is my favorite part of this program, the caption area. You've probably seen a lot of these captions that have been used before, but let's try this one out. So this is just a preset caption. Let's go to, here's one that's super popular, spring. So this is just going to do single text, put a little jumpy animation on it. Love that. You guys get the point. There's so many different animations for your captions to make them stand out in your videos. And I definitely recommend using this. You are going to have to have the CapCut Pro version to get access to all this stuff, but guys, it's so worth it. There's also AI characters. AI characters, guys, you can do a voiceover, put an AI character on it and have them spit for you. Text to speech. You want to make myself sound like, uh, let's see, do I want to be Spanish today? Facts, guys, look at all the, look at all the text effects. This is just absurd, guys. Another great portion to CapCut is the music section. All of the music in CapCut on PC or on your mobile device is going to be copyright free, perfect for TikTok so you don't get flagged. And another great portion of this is the sound effects area. I've got some of my favorites already saved. I had to go through. This took a while to do. You know, just things that you're going to need for transitions and uh, sound effects for the videos that you're using. So now we're going to highlight some of this video. We're going to also go through some really cool stuff that I don't think a lot of people probably know about. Let's make my teeth hella white. I usually go around the 60 mark for my videos. It just looks, uh, you know, kind of natural, white, but natural. Smile lines man. I can get rid of the smile lines on my video. Take care of everything on your face. Make yourself look like, uh, you know, you just did some shit in Photoshop. Facial beauty. I can make my jawline thinner. Man, I can make my hair longer. I would never recommend doing any of this stuff, but it's just, it's just crazy that, that CapCut has all these different features, man. I could get myself makeup. 
Man, I look good. Eyelashes. Get myself some bigger eyelashes right there. This is just insane, guys. Like, it really is. The amount of different things. Oh my god, I look crazy. Can we get this off here now? Control Z. Control Z. Control Z. Get it off. There's also a masking portion where you guys could mask something. Make myself a heart. Drop a like on the video. Um, the cutout is really cool as well. There's also a cutout area. Auto cutout. It'll, you know, auto cut yourself out of any videos. Like I said, it's gonna work better if you don't have your headset on and it's just your face, your body. Um, it just detects it a little bit easier. And then you can go into something like this. Throw in uh, one of these bad boys. This on there. Strength all the way up. This down. How you got yourself looking snazzy. Put yourself in the corner of the video. Whatever you want to do. Cap cut is endless. We could head over to the adjustment tab here. We can mess with the brightness. I don't want to be that bright. My goodness. Contrast. A lot of these you're really not going to mess with too much. Um, ooh, sharpening the video, sharpening how you look, particles. There, there's a lot of options for you guys to check out. You can also save the preset if you mess with it and you're going to use it for all the videos that you do. You can save that preset. Okay, I don't even want to know what this is. We got AI photos, AI paintings. I've been editing on CapCut for a long time and I haven't used any of this, so keep that in mind. Um, but I'm sure there's somebody out there watching this video that's going to find a lot of use for the AI stuff. Also in the text uh, area, they just came out with this AI generated text. So let's click on the showcase and take a peek here at what they've got. Use prompt. This is yellow pillow shaped balloon. Tons of different types of like AI generated text for you guys to check out. They also have all these text templates for you guys to use. Here's like a like the video text template. Now this would be cool for like a sports themed post. You got this little animation here, Houston versus Portland, man, Portland Trailblazers. Well, this is a high scoring game. So yeah, I mean, we could spend all day in this program going over all the tons of different features that CapCut offers. I just find it very user friendly. It's easy to get started. And if you're used to editing with a different software, a lot of this is going to be like second nature to you when it comes to cutting, splitting clips, keyframing. And if you made it to the end of this video, you probably really like CapCut at this point in time. And if you get pro for your PC, you're going to have it on your mobile phone as well. So if you're somebody like me, who's a UGC creator full time, you know, and I need to go somewhere, I'm able to use my phone to kind of catch up on some previous work. For those of you that want more of a tutorial on how I edit all of my UGC ads or you want an inside look of how to do it. I'm going to be coming out with a lot of cool features on my new website, createdbyjace.com, which is going to be a hub for all my previous UGC work, packages that I'm going to be selling to brands, courses, downloads for you guys to get involved with. I'm super excited for all of this and hopefully some cool tutorials. But like I said, if you need anything from me, make sure to reach out. You'll find all of my socials below in the description. And until the next video, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.